Yeah. And, uh, yeah, lastly for right now, I want to talk about, um, things that I've realized in terms of, like, how to make it, like, practically possible to go Super Saiyan. Um, well, okay, if we, we look at the science, and there's, you know, videos about, like, you know, what is a Kamehameha, really, and, like, how it's actually, like, you know, plasma. It's actually, like, a fourth state of matter that you don't learn about, but it's, you know, an important you know, foundational, um, type of matter that you don't, yeah, isn't really taught very heavily, but it is, you know, a real thing. <laughs> Grasshoppers. Um, but yeah, so, um, yeah, if we kind of take, like, these spiritual concepts uh, you know, why, for for instance, why is a Kamehameha shot out of your hands? Why is it nowhere else? You know, like, um, you know, how much energy does it really take to do that? Why couldn't you? Yeah. Um, well, the human body produces, I believe, about 100 or 200 millivolts, on, you know, on, on average. And what it says, you know, in that video... Um, it's like a film critic or something like that um, channel. I forget the name of it, but um, is it would require thirty uh, kilovolts to produce like a the actual blast, and then from there three kilowatts to maintain it. So essentially, it takes about you know, a thousand times the energy that your body naturally produces now to be able to do those blasts. But it is possible. It's just you, um, okay. But instead, if you look at it in terms of, instead of generating all the energy at once, if you notice, you know, the Saiyans, they charge up. It's not a all at once thing. Um, so if you, you know, you really, you look at that and you look at, you know, the, it's created by you heating up a certain space containing that heat until the air itself, you know, breaks into this plasma and that's where you get the, the blast. Then it's really about you taking that, you know, 100, 200 millivolts and condensing it into one area and having it rub against itself until it produces that extra energy that like kinetic energy to be able to heat up the space to be able to open the potential for that blast and the reason you know if you if you look at you know how like gemini is like the you know sign that has to do with skills of hands and look at how the twelfth house is that is really Taurus, so it's like your hands are the storage or the containment, and um, <clears throat> also something that I think will tie in uh, to this is that, like I've figured out which rising sign kind of is associated to each of the chakras and I think why it's been so hard to identify them is that when they're talking about what they do or how they affect you they're actually coming at it from the 12th house perspective so when they say like the root chakra they're talking about like it's actually the root not like it appears like the root kind of like you have like the Taurus rising thing happening where something looks like it's the root but it's really like you know the energy you know itself or you know the thing that's trying to push ahead and not stay in one spot um, but it's kind of like hitting something so it's stuck in one spot or whatever whereas um, you know all that 
the taking the short trips and the you know talking about stuff that is actually how things are maintained and contained so uh the root shocker would be gemini rising so you know i haven't been able to find a whole lot of information about people going into depth about the chakras like in the areas that I'm looking for the information it might be out there but you know so but that tells me that the root is somehow connected to the hand chakras and uh, since the root um, you know connects you to the earth um, you know, and that's where the energy actually is, then there's probably a way to take the, uh, you know, the information of what, of all what's happened in the past and, you know, what's actually happening with it, and then translate that into transferring the energy to your hands, and kind of like how you have, like, the Naruto, uh, Rasengan, Rosengon, you know, how he, or how they have the ball, like, hit itself, like, they tap it in different places, and then it runs in different directions, um, and then even when you look at, like, Goku doing the Kamehameha, he still, he, he like, twists his hands a little bit, um, and I'm even, I'm wondering, since one meridian, they say, with, with the chakras, that, uh, one takes in, and one sends out, so, yeah, one hand, you know, absorbs energy in, one side sends it out. And I think in the past, what even may have gotten me mixed up with which does what is I think I'm right-handed, but I think it's actually my left hand that pushes energy out. And my right hand is actually, like, receiving. So, when, you know, I may have been trying to do this a lot in the past, I've been using the wrong hand. Um, so... There's that, um, you know, and if you can have, you know, create that containment to, uh, <clears throat> you know, have that kind of like, you know, ball of energy kind of like, you know, hit itself, yeah, that, that's the idea. And then also other things to consider as far as health before attempting this to make sure to get your body up to the point where like you could uh, produce more energy and be able to maintain it because it's probably advised that you could you know heal your cells before you take on such a taxing uh, you know action um, you don't want to hurt yourself doing this. So, like, because your body will heat up if you don't disperse the energy. It's probably going to anyway, but, you know, if you don't direct the energy correctly, it's going to just, like, build up in you. So, um, so the other, the other chakra is... And what uh, rising sign I think correlates with which each with each of them. I think the throat chakra is Libra rising because it has to do with communication, but also articulation. And it sounds like they're getting more at Virgo than they are Gemini. Even though the throat chakra has to do with you communicating, when you really look at it, um, it's like the Virgo kind of communication. Um, and uh, again, uh, Virgo is Libra's 12th house. And, uh, so, and the, you know, chakra is something that's, you know, unseen, or you need, you know, at least, you know, most people can't see it. Uh, so, you know, so, then you have... 
the sacral chakra, which is probably Sag rising or Sagittarius rising because of, uh, you know, it being so much about like that, uh, creating and, you know, reproducing and, you know, all that type of area and information, which would kind of have to do with Scorpio, um, which would be like the 12th house to Sagittarius rising. Um, so then your, uh, solar plexus is, you know, where your energy, you know, from the sun and all that comes from. And it's also where you're digesting things and breaking them down. So I really want to say that's Virgo rising because, you know, the 12th house for Virgo is... Leo and Virgo has to do with digestion so it breaking things down so um, then you've got you know the heart chakra I believe is actually Scorpio rising um, because it seems scary to talk about but, but you know it's actually the most powerful and it's what keeps everything in balance and, you know, it knows the amount of blood to send to different areas and things like that. Um, and it's what, like, actually emits, like, the electromagnetic field. So it's, like, the most powerful. And then, um, you've got the third eye chakra, which seems like it's Taurus rising, actually. Um... And there's one, like, in between, um, I really need to look at, again, the full, like, 13 chakras, because the, one of them, by the way, the Earth Star, that's, like, the, um, you know, the, kind of, like, the, what's it called, Akashic Records, and then, um, yeah, then you have like 12 main ones left. <clears throat> but yeah, I need to look at some of those other 13 ones again, honestly. But one in that area is Cancer Rising that has to do with like the nurturing or coming off that way, but actually having to do with you sending messages like, you know, through the subconscious and stuff like that. Um, and then, you know, Taurus rising, which would be the third eye, which, you know, allows you to see beyond, you know, um, uh, you know, the world as, you know, it can appear to be in like a, a concrete way. Or at least it connects to like, maybe like the INTP type thing, because it's like, the INTP's 12th house is you know, that extroverted sensing thing that would allow you to see through, um, you know. But just with other associations of what it allows you to do, it seems like the way they're going about it, it's like an Aries sense of um you seeing through and also aries is a fire sign and uh hence you know lets you see like visions of you know what could be and it's like when you get your like first spark of an idea or you know like your intent or whatever and you got like mindfulness and you know calming things down to focus your intent on something and it just overall seems like Taurus rising. So then, um, you know, the crown chakra is Pisces rising. Um, and then the, what's called the 12th chakra, the divine masculine is Aries rising and the 13th 
the Divine Feminine is you know, a connection back to um, Libra, and there's I think it's like the 11th I think they're flipped. I think the 11th is Capricorn rising and the 10th is um, uh, Aquarius rising. And I'll, you know, re look back at that. But, you know, I think I've, I've gotten a good idea of, like, I just need to check the list again. But how to actually differentiate them in that way. And, um... Yeah, so I think that's how you would, like, make that practically possible. You know, even look at, like, nutrients and um, what goes into foods and, like, how they'd interact, like, which chakra, you know, how they're, what color they are, and, like, really look at what effect that has on your body, you know, due to, you know, what mineral that is and what mineral they say affects that, you know, area of your body. And, you know, if you really look at that... Um, I think you could, you know, figure out how to balance and, you know, make huge strides and, like, becoming a lot healthier. So, yeah. That is that.